Well, thank you, Ellie. A nice day for you out there. Largely clear to start with, like you're seeing uh, here from Leaf River Dental in Petal. Blue sky and sunshine coming up here to join us. You can see it lightening up those uh, lingering clouds that are just kind of stuck here from uh, yesterday afternoon and evening here in Petal, getting just uh, a little bit under a quarter of an inch of rain yesterday here in Waynesboro, though. Only one one hundredth of an inch of rain, basically just a trace amount of short lived sprinkle passing through the area as it kind of split right through the center of Pine Belt, leaving a little bit to uh, area to the north a little wet and uh, areas to the south very wet this morning. So it kind of depends on where you were as to whether or not you had a very wet Sunday and uh, those lingering clouds are largely clearing up overhead. So that's what I expect to see just uh, some lingering cloud cover out there through the morning hours as we cool down to about 73 mid to low 70s across the area about a degree or two cooler than it was yesterday by this time and heading into the afternoon another warm up getting us up into the mid 90s i expect as high as 96 before we start seeing the even the few showers and thunderstorms that we'll get this afternoon about a 20 percent chance for a handful of hours uh, and even that will start thinning out as we head into the night. So not expecting to see too many of those, but you do see it extending up until just after 7 p.m. there. As we head into tomorrow, you see another little block right there through the middle. I expect uh, less rain than what we'll see today, but you see a slightly higher chance there <laughs> going up with a 30% hourly chance. I expect tomorrow to be just like today, but a little bit less in the way of rain, which today is going to be like yesterday with just a little bit less in the way of rain. So you can see in the next five, it's rather wishy-washy, but still looking pretty good. Largely looking dry up until about Wednesday evening overnight hours, and that's because we'll start seeing a front moving towards us. So uh, we still have that coastal activity that could just drift our direction, but it gets much more consistently rainy as we finish off the week, especially heading through Thursday afternoon into the evening and night hours and then friday basically a front right on top of us even saturday it's still lingering in the area enough to give us some pockets there of heavier rainfall expected uh, as that boundary just kind of stops in the northern gulf and sits there for a couple of days so even as we head into next week it's still looking largely rainier than how we're starting this one off so if you're a fan of the drier days with a little bit of sun today and tomorrow is your day because the rest of the week's looking a lot more gray and a lot more wet much like a, a few areas saw yesterday, you can see those tiny little pockets, little dark areas down there where you're seeing between four to six inches of rainfall having uh, come down yesterday in a very short amount of time. They really didn't even get started until lunchtime and had largely, largely dropped off by right around sunset. And you only see a few little swaths that were problematic. Everybody else traced amounts, a few little pockets, saw a little bit more than that, uh, but not expecting any lingering issues from yesterday in that regard. You can see even the clouds clearing up from that activity that was just barely hanging on there as we went through about the midnight hour, so dropping off pretty quickly after sunset. Then heading into today, right around lunchtime, and now we're into the two, two o'clock hour. You can see those starting to pop up there, expecting them to be pretty few and far between. Little sea breeze trying to get going there as it drifts towards the north, lingering in the area, not expecting anything wild, but again, another couple of showers and thunderstorms popping up. Flashy, loud, raining with locally high rainfall totals before dropping off. Then heading through the night, we head back into tomorrow and here again, another chance of that. But your drier days are going to be today and tomorrow. But even then, we're still expecting those showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon. So nothing on the live interactive radar on your app right now, but it'd be a good tool to have with you for the next couple of days as we see those showers and thunderstorms popping up and drifting about lazily for a couple of hours before we see more consistent rain. And that's what brings the cooling here as we head into the end of the week and the weekend. So certainly looking a lot better in terms of that heat index, not looking so much better in terms of that rainfall, which goes up and up and up, raining a good bit of your Thursday and Friday. So still, if you're a fan of that sunshine, get it in today because once we head into Wednesday or at least the back half of it, it will be more gray than not and more wet than not even as we head into next week.